Okay guys, real talk here. Someone walks into your house, points a gun to your head, or threatens to kill you, or whatever, unless he can have all of your beauty products except for 20 items. What 20 items are you gonna keep? That's what this video is about. <laughs> I am going to be talking about my, like my holy grail. Holy grail. Products or like things that if someone said, I'm taking your shit except for like 20 things that you choose to keep, go get those things now and then we're done here. So these are the items I chose. I'm saying 20 because there is technically somehow figured out how to get exactly 20 items. So with that being said, I'm gonna go through my holy grail beauty products. So first, I am just gonna do real stuff right now, okay? If someone said, you need to go take things out now, I'm gonna stick with my personal hygiene stuff. So first off, I would say, okay, I'm keeping my shampoo and my conditioner. This is just what I'm currently using right now. If it was any other type of shampoo or conditioner, that's what I would grab. I just don't want disgusting, greasy hair. So, shampoo, conditioner, chosen. Next thing I would be choosing is my deodorant. I don't want to smell like BO. Um, again, this is just what I have now. Any deodorant I would have, I would grab. Stinky Siri is not the type of Siri I want to be. Um, after that, I would choose my toothbrush and my toothpaste. Being a dental assistant, I can't not choose my toothbrush and my toothpaste. Now off um, onto the other things. I thought very seriously about this one night. I was like, what are the things that I would genuinely genuinely be so mad that I wouldn't keep. So the first thing I thought of was my dry shampoo. Um, I use the R, honestly don't know, it's like a little R plus company, so I don't know if it's R company or what, um, but it's Death Valley dry shampoo. Um, I love this stuff because I've had this bottle since last no, oh my gosh, since two summers ago. I've had this bottle for a long time. Um, and I still have plenty in here. Like, And I use this every other day or so. Um, so it has a lot of product in it. And it doesn't leave that white kind of dusty look in my hair. I have dark hair, so I've had dry shampoos before that have just left like white stuff in my hair. And then I see it throughout the day. Um, but what I like about this is um, I have really thin hair and I take showers at night so that I don't have to get up as early in the morning because I'm super lazy in the morning. Um, and even though I shampoo my hair the night before, I will wake up and it will be stuck to my head and look greasy and it's gross. So that's why I like dry shampoo because I like to floof that in my hair, put my hair up, and then it doesn't look like I didn't shower the night before when I actually did. So that is another product that I would choose to keep. My next product is also a hair product and it is my Tony and Guy Volume Pumping Mousse. Um, this stuff, I have bought so many of these, like I just go, I haven't used another plumping mousse in a long time. Like this stuff is amazing. I would be super, super sad if I ever saw this disappear from my product stash, so I would definitely choose to keep this guy. Okay, so moving on to actual makeup products, I'm going to start with um, makeup tools first. Um, the first things that I thought of to keep were my IT Cosmetic brushes, um, the Velvet Luxe brushes. These are the only three that I have. There's a lot more in their range, but these are the only three that I have. And I mainly would be really upset because these are really expensive brushes. <laughs> I mean, for me they are. They're like 20 something each. 
Um, and they're just really soft and just really good. Sorry, I apologize. This one's dirty, but I would be really sad to see these go. Plus, they're all different types of brushes. Um, so if, you know, I, I keep all three of these and they all serve different purposes. So it's not like I'm keeping three foundation brushes or whatever, you know, like I've got my foundation brush, I have a blending brush for my eyes and I have like a soft like contouring brush for my face. So I would definitely keep all three of these guys. My other brushes that I would want to keep are my Real Techniques dual fiber brushes, which are these guys. I don't apologize. This guy is all dirty. I just used it earlier, but I would definitely want to keep these because these are just great all around face brushes and this is another great eye brush. You know, they all serve different purposes. This is great for powder. This is also great for doing blush, contour, highlight, things like that. And this is also another great eye brush. So I would definitely want to see, keep these in my collection if someone came and stole the rest of it. <laughs> Last but not least is my MAC 224. I know this might sound really weird, but... I have a special connection to this. This is the only MAC brush that I have, and technically it's not even mine, it's my mom's. I stole this from my mom a long time ago, but she had it for forever. I think that she got her MAC brushes, I was young, I was like 9 or 10 years old when she got those, this brush set, and for some reason... <laughs> This one stood out to me and I stole it from her when I was in high school and I still have it. So thank you mother for your MAC 224. I love it. I cherish it. I use it every single day and I would cry if this ever disappeared. Just cry. <laughs> Another beauty product that I would choose to keep would be my beauty blender. This stuff serves so many purposes and I would also be extremely upset if this disappeared from my collection. So definitely, definitely keep in my beauty blender. Okay, so on to actual makeup products. Um, I have pretty much, I have an item for like every part of my body, except for I don't have a foundation. So I guess I'm going foundationless when someone takes all my, all my makeup from me. But um, the first thing I want to share is chapstick. I would have to, have to, have to, have to, have to keep a chapstick because my lips cannot live without this, like, from day to day. It's just impossible. Um, any chapstick will do. Honestly, I would choose any, but this is the first one that popped out to me because it's one of my favorites right now. It is the, I believe, it's, yeah, the Maybelline Baby Lips. Um, this stuff is just so nourishing and amazing for my lips and I love it and holy grail, holy grail man, holy grail. Holy Next grail. item would be my concealer and you all probably know this already. The concealer that I love is the Urban, Urban Decay Naked Skin. I have been using this for a couple years now, haven't used any other concealer and I need to conceal. <laughs> like I have purple under my eyes and I have really, really red, really red nose, really red chin, really red forehead, just red skin. So I would definitely want to keep this around. I would rather keep this, yeah, over a foundation. That's why there isn't a foundation in here because I couldn't think of a foundation. But if I could still cover up with this stuff, I would be a-okay with that. So this is definitely staying in my collection. Uh, next thing I would have to say would be my Anastasia Brow Wiz. Um, this is also one of the only products I've ever used on my brows, um, and the nice thing about it is how it has a spoolie on one end, and then the brow is on the other end, so it's kind of like a two-in-one deal with this guy, so I would definitely need to keep this. Um, another thing that I would need to keep would be the NYC uh, Liquid Eyeliner in black. I use liquid eyeliner almost every single day. I don't normally do like the pencil liners or anything like that. I just like the looks of liquid eyeliners. And this one so far, this specific NYC liner is my all time favorite. And I would also be very
it if this got taken away from me so it had to be put in this video <laughs> the mascara that I would keep would be the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara this is another mascara that I have used non-stop for a couple years um, not this exact one because that would be gross but just this specific brand um, better than sex mascara is just super lovely I think it's the best formula for my type of lashes and just another thing that I would be really really disappointed if someone took this from my stash so another holy grail item holy so grail. for eyes like eyelashes um, I would I thought about this heavily because I have a lot of eyeshadows I have a lot of eye palettes that I love but this one I love I love this brand I love these shadows and I thought about this also in like a more of a like a like realistic type thing I I do nude looks a lot like natural nude looks so I would want to keep my naked two palettes the thing with my palette I would ask for a new one oh my god another one just fell out no well that's lovely <laughs> I have a lot of these pots have fallen out. Right over here used to be black. Right over here used to be foxy. I have no, I guess two of them just fell out. Anyway, if ones have fallen out, I've used this one a lot. So if I could have a brand new one and then keep it as my holy grail, I would. Because you could do so many different kinds of looks with this one palette. So that's why I would want to keep it. It was my very first ever, like high-end makeup product that I ever gotten was this palette so it also kind of is dear to like dear to my heart as well so I'd want to keep this forever okay and then last but not least are my bronze and my highlights the bronzer and the highlight that I would choose to keep are the Laura Mercier matte radiance baked powder um, in bronze 02 and her highlight in 01. They look like this. This is the ever first, the very first bronze I ever had that didn't make me look muddy and or orange or anything like that. And then this is just the very first highlighter I ever have had, period. <laughs> and it's still one of my favorites. So I would choose to keep these in my makeup thing, my makeup collection for as long as possible. Okay, guys, so that is it. That is, those are my holy grail slash, if someone came and took all my stuff except for those 20 items, those would, that's what I would keep products. I don't, what? I don't really know what I'm saying, but I think you guys get the gist. These are the items that are my holy grails, my all-time favorites, things that I would be so mad if someone came and took them from me. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you saw anything that you are also like, hell yeah, that's also my holy grail. I feel you right here with that. Or if you're like, really, Mary? Like, really? That's, that's what you would choose? You know, let me know in the comments below so we can talk about these things. Um, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Holy grail!